All right, so we are back at Theory Audio, which is kind of a sister company of Pro Audio. We're here with Paul Hales, and he just showed us a great demo of this kind of on-wall speaker. It's got an LCR speaker here, got powered, uh, actually passive subwoofers, surround speakers, 5.2.2, and this controller here does a lot of magical stuff. I'm gonna turn this over to Paul, who's not only the owner, but the engineer that came up with all the work that's behind this system. Paul, awesome to have you here, so please tell me, give me a rundown of what we saw and what we heard today. Okay, um, so what we showed today was a SB75, which is a sound bar that's sized to match 75 inch TVs. We have 65, 75, and 85 inch sizes. We were running two 15 inch subwoofers, uh, and then four SB25 on-wall loudspeakers. Two were in the Atmos position, and two were in the rear of the room serving as the surrounds. So at the nucleus of all theory uh, systems, whether they're distributed audio, music systems, or surround sound, is a loudspeaker controller. And we purposely don't call it an amplifier, and we purposely don't call it a uh, amplifier with DSP because it's much more than that and the sound you heard was a result of all the processing that we're doing inside of that so in here there's processing for the loudspeaker processing bass management time delay um, high resolution EQ uh, there's nine amplifier channels three 300 watt channels for driving subwoofers and six 100 watt channels that can be bridged to make more 300 watt channels so if you were to bridge all the channels you end up with 1,800 watts in the one U box, and it's uh, no fans, and it's just barely warm to touch. I mean, it's l lukewarm, something like that. So. so, so I have to tell you guys, this is probably the first time I've seen a demo of I'm going to call it an amplifier. I know you're not going to call it an amp, a DSP controlled amplifier. That's only one U high that was able to power basically a nine-channel system because you had two subwoofers reach in pretty much gut-wrenching levels because we listened to a demo from the movie Open Range and when Kevin Costner was shooting that shotgun it was pretty shocking the kind of sound we were getting out of this and yet I could sit here and put my hand on it and it's just warm not not offensive in any way not hurting me in any way they're using the latest generation of ice modules so you're making me a believer of Class D. This is the future. And the cool thing that Paul's doing is all this DSP trickery he's doing to linearize the response of the speakers. And when I listen to this, I'm like, I'm thinking to myself, these speakers sounded a lot wider than what they looked like because it's all in one unit like this. He's doing some clever DSP and it really panned out well because when we were listening to music, we had a good surround envelope that we heard. The subwoofer sounded really nice. Considering we're in a showroom uh, demo, you know, in a not such a great acoustic environment, I think you did a great job here. You're really proof of concept here of how this thing works. Very impressive. So now I just wanted to note to the guys that are watching here now, is you still do need a decoder. You need either a receiver or a preamp processor to basically send the signals into this thing. But one thing I'd like to talk about that's really interesting is he did fully differential inputs and outputs on this. All the circuitry is balanced differential. That's unusual that you don't see that too much in consumer audio. So you put a lot of thought into this. Really excited about this product. Thank you for giving us the demo. And uh, yeah, guys, so we're going to be checking out some more Theory Audio in the future. So until next time, my friends, keep listening.